Okay, let's take a look at this. This looks like it's a reasonable bunch of people here. Yeah, let's let's try and do this. Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. It's another double money bunker week. So you know what that means. Grind City. Hopefully. It's a short video because the interesting and wild stuff is limited. Unless I get a lot of uh, a lot of Phantom Wedge uh, mission missions because those they always have great visual appeal. Okay, that's just a thing. What we get? You think law enforcement realize when they're working in direct opposition to the nation's interests? Oh, thank you. Well, they you. might figure it out when you're knocking them out the way in a modified big rig. Take the truck to the buyers on the route we give you and pay as little attention to those numbskulls as you can. There's nothing really complicated about this mission, but it's always just so satisfying. Excuse me, traffic. I've got places to be. Doink. Whoa, with a lots of lag. I have been having still, you know, some, some odd lag issues. Whoa. As of late. I was trying to do some racing yesterday, but I just couldn't record. I, I wanted to finish it all. I had to stop recording. Oh, there we go. Doink. Why is this so satisfying? Whee! It's because the physics is so, you know, ridiculous looking. Even though, it's, you know, some of the hits are probably completely offline. It'll just mostly do that. That's probably more reasonable. I have to slow down a little bit, even though it makes for smaller crashes. I guess that's the real challenge, you know, keeping you from... Can you control yourself and not keep the hammer down at maximum speed for maximum launch? So that you navigate the turns properly. Because you can. You, you can lose the, the trailer, the things that are annoying. You really can't... You know, as long as you drive normally, not much can go wrong. Every so often you'll get a cop who'll stick his nose under the trailer and dislodge it even though you did nothing wrong. But those things are few and far between. So whoever designed this mission, whoever came up with the concept, knew what they were doing. They said, you know, we've got this great vehicle. It's going to be just fun to drive. We can make a mission where people just drive. You don't have to shoot anybody, you don't have to do anything complicated. All you have to do is drive the truck. And there's an identical mission with the... Uh, there's a few different missions with the insurgents that are the same way. The custom uh, insurgent pickup. You do the same thing. He starts out, we're all business on this one. Okay, well, that's, then you know. This is going to be the same thing. Maybe the cops will come after you, maybe not. But you're just going to drive. And it's very, um, it's a happy moment when you get that mission because you know it's not going to be like the buggy mission. And by buggy, I mean that you have to drive the buggy enough that it's full of bugs. Because the buggy mission, you're always pressed for time. Or at least, I'm always pressed for time. Oh, but. Can we catch it? Nope. Probably for the best. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a buggy mission, you know. You're thinking, oh no, you get the the 4x4 four four mission, you get the the Marshall mission. That's time consuming but not horrible. That's a fast moving garbage truck and I missed the turn. Just talking and not paying attention. Do you ever do that where you're just driving along and you miss an exit because you're busy talking with somebody and they didn't tell you, hey, you're missing the exit. You guys are having a bad time with it. Oh, 
But I don't even mind that I missed the exit because, it, you know, it's more things to go boop to. Yay! Oh, he's going over into the water. Juggle, 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 juggle. Taking the low road this time into the fog. You take the high. You block the high road, and I'll take the low. I guess the temptation be this to crash through the roadblock, even though you don't need to go there. But we're just gonna go there because double money, double money on on this and on and on special crates too. There's all kinds of potential for CEO and pajamas, man. Will it actually pick it up or will it just kind of hover over it? Will we get the glitch version or will it actually take the thing? Glitch. I mean, all this disappears. But we don't care because there's money. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Actually, I think what we will do is we will montage this. So, you know, some of it may have voice, some of it may not have voice. If I get any interesting clips, I'm going to go through my stuff, see what interesting clips. Interesting. It's like 5.30 in the morning, so I don't know if I'm speaking properly yet. But if we can, we can put together a nice CEO in pajamas. See the pajamas? And that, I believe, is everything sold. Next time you see those weapons, they'll be on the news. Video. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this as interesting as possible. Now, time to head over to the nightclub. That was weird. I just you hear that. It's like this. See that tap tap tap? I didn't touch it there. She's going tap tap tap. That's the, this is the sound. I don't know why my mic would be doing that. Just picking up random kind of tappy noises. Odd. Let's see here now. Let's see. Where are, what are our objectives? Last team standing. That's an interesting one. I thought they got rid of a lot of the PvP stuff. Deliver an export vehicle to Simeon. Set yourself as looking for an MC. Okay, that's... They're all semi-doable, but not really anything I'm interested in. Interested. Having trouble with the word interested today. Nothing I want to do. Eight hundred thousand. My sporting goods is a little bit down because there was a daily objective to sell the cocaine. I guess it would be worthwhile just to re uh, reload my my MC businesses just so that periodically, if I have to sell cocaine, I don't have to sell it from here. But then you know, can they can they get chased? Eight eight hundred thousand even. I don't think I've ever seen that. What we got here? Okay, we got a buyer for this stuff. At least I think we do. Everything's encrypted, so I could be talking to a washing machine. They're sending the drop locations on this Sightseer app I've uploaded to your phone. Take a look, try and unencrypt the location, then make the drops. Good luck. Eh, slightly annoying, but not really interesting. Maybe we'll do the time warp again. Guy of a Dune reference. Worm sign. Okay, we've gone ghost. Is that that guy in an armored truck? Is that the the, the, the orange dot or is that he underneath the bridge? So far he's got his own agenda. Let's hope it stays that way. You know, I think that's the first time I've ever driven past uh, the casino on one of these missions. Hello, casino. Not really significant, but significant to me. I'm actually trying to build myself back up a good bit. I mean, I've still got 8 million, but that's a 
far cry from when it was 30. 30 was a lot better. But you know, I mean, I'm really getting, I'm really getting sold on the sales as of late. I mean, you can get a, a Minister and an Akula right now for like a million bucks total? I mean, that's, you know, ridiculous. They're actually giving you the prices that things should be, is what happened. These are the, the Twitch Prime prices. I got this deal going with Twitch Prime. Currently right now as I'm doing this, it's the end of August. Of course, there'll be lots and lots and lots of different dates on this video, but... As I'm talking now... August 30th, that is. Well, I think I'm going down. Oh, here we go. Okay, did we just completely screw ourselves? Oh, there's ways here if I do get stuck, but... Come on, up Simba. I was thinking I was going left and I have to go right. Well, left now, but... This is this one, okay. Comforting to get there now that I see an airplane on the map. Whee! So yeah, they're definitely, you know, the psychology of their, their sales methods is working. And I'm half tempted even to get a facility for Rusty Jack because we can take advantage of some of these things. We are back up from 7-something to 9-something in the last couple of days. So the question is, the question, the want to forge ahead in this very good session with some crate missions or do I go and sell Rusty Jack because he has stuff in his, uh, in his nightclub and the sale is made you get the cash I get not to worry about being caught with that stuff in the club and sent to the can it's a win for both of us okay last team standing now because that's the same for everybody I can help somebody out help them get their daily objective even though I'm not really in the mood for a last team standing, I'll help you out. I don't even care if I win. Let's see, I will purchase some, some armor, though. Against a level 41, I really do, I, you know, watch, I'll get my, my buns handed to me here. Forced plus pickups. Okay, that makes sense. And who am I here? All right, well, this is Nidum Kasa. Hello, Nidum Kasa. That's a that's a great outfit. Tattoos are a little grim, but you know, very Grateful Dead maybe. I think it's a Grateful Dead thing. Oh, are they waiting on me? Okay, let's let's not make them wait. Let's do this thing. I got a pistol. And jets! Well, obviously you gotta just go for the jet, right? I guess. I'm no ace pilot, so, you know, this, this will probably wind up in their favor. That's a last team standing. So this could be over very quickly. Or very slowly if I hide. Come get me! Wait the full nine minutes and go for the tie. We've got the height advantage, I think. We can get a visual lock here. How far off are we? 
way off. So yeah, we, we, we may not have the height advantage by the time we get there. So let's just... Everyone knows that if you have the... You should put the gear up. Are they over me? Dog fighting. tight turn going and full afterburners, the missiles can't get you for the most part. He's got the guns. Alright. He's giving up on missiles. Come on. Oh, I'm sure at least one of them hit him, but no, no. Gotta keep it high and tight here. Ooh, how did he get me? GG. That was good. Must have just clipped me with a bullet, a bullet, a stream of bullets. Looks like he took out, but it wasn't a missile. A bad, a bad, a bad, a bad. Okay, that's fine. But... GG. Yeah, I'm out. What were my other daily objectives that I was going to completely ignore? I don't remember. You saw them, but I don't remember what they were. One was to, you know, list yourself as looking for an MC, which you can do for five minutes and then... Five seconds, probably, and then just go away from that. Alright, what was the other one? We got one objective. Oh, deliver an export vehicle. That could be tricky. Set yourself as looking for an MC. Alright, let's do that. Retire. Objective complete. And the alarm is the alarm is going. Watch, so that's probably be like a. I'll probably be like a copyrightable offense. Do I have anything from Simeon? Nope. Now that's going to be the tricky one. I had trouble with this yesterday. I couldn't do it because Simeon never called. Signal the point to Merriweather drop. Hmm. How far, how far are we from the Merriweather drop? Oh, to think you're, you're inside a building here. Let's get out of the road. We're pretty far, but we could make this somehow interesting and then, you know, go with, you know, 
pick up the Akula or something like that. Let's, let's go interesting. I see a B-11 strike force flying by. That was on sale not that long ago. Let's see a lot more of those. Again, this falls back to, you know, one of my theories. That if you just, you know, put the really wild stuff on sale. Alright, that means people will buy tanks. They'll still make money. Of course, they're making money off of Twitch Prime because that's how they're making the big sales happen. The 75% deal. But once everybody has a B11, once they, you know, I'm waiting for. I'm really waiting for. When are they going to do the Oppressor Mark II? Because that will be, I think, game changing when that becomes available really to just absolutely everybody. But we'll see. Okay, let's get something here. What do you feel like flying in? You have to shoot down helicopters. And take out people on the ground. You know, I mean, it'd be tempting to use the, uh, the Hydra here. Because it's an inactive session. The ability to become invisible to radar at the click of a button. I mean, that's really, really hard to turn down here at this point. Let's go get some cargo. Gear up. Invisibility on. And no one knows I'm going for it. Here we are, relatively close too. Anybody, anybody at all on radar here? Nobody's going for this. No one cares. Okay. Missiles out. get too close because then you'll just be above it and you'll be just shooting me. Come on, lock him up. Come on, lock him up. There we go. Taking too long. Yeah, you know, that last guy standing, you'd have to be really like kinda worried at this point, you think? I'll end your worries. Okay. Having to land and drop the flare is annoying. We're gonna have to get back up in the air as quick as possible. Before Flare inside the drop zone and then get back up in the thing with the burning flare. Going off radar temporarily. So no one who looks at their map thinks about me. We definitely. What is, what is causing my mic to make that tapping noise? Okay, do I have to be on radar for this to work? Where is...
Do I have to be on the ground for this door? Because I'm in this killing time. Oh, they're, they're, now they're suddenly just there. There we go. And there's no other resistance? Can we get one in midair? Yes, we can! Woohoo! Alright, we got one in midair. Let's go smooth and stealthy and get the wobble to stop and head across completely unmolested here. Well, let's put this baby down without hurting it. Much. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Hurry a little bit. No, we're down. We're down. We're down. We're down. Down. Okay. We don't really need the flare. Okay. Back to the helicopter. Three minutes. You think I can get there and back in three minutes? Dealing with whatever fresh resistance is at the site. I mean, the helicopter, this is a fast helicopter. There's, you know, hostiles below me right there. Let's literally do the time warp again. Now, I'm trying to remember the sale. Is the Kula just down to a million, or was this like 600,000? I don't remember. It's, it's, a, it's a very solid sale. It's a very expensive plane, so I don't remember how the math worked out. But I think it'd be worth it in the long run to get one of these puppies. Poor Rusty Jack. It's just too useful. We gotta make a bunch of money first. I don't wanna go broke. Come on, let's go land quick. There. Interesting that there was no. Usually, there's there's, a, there's helicopters that come in and try to, to stop you from taking it. That did not happen this time. Stay slick and invisible. A minute thirteen. This could be close. We may fail this. Come on. Okay, we're going to be flying right over somebody. I have no idea. There's not a care in the world. Now, this is going to be tight. And the cool attempts to keep gaining altitude when you're, when you're driving it forward. So you have, I have to keep backing it down a little bit to drop altitude come on gear down we gotta go in really hot here hopefully not blow it up get out 17 seconds go get out of the thing and run 10 9 8 7 6 5 Four, three, two. <laughs> okay, that was that was close. That was a wee bit close. Wow. So, work, it worked. It, it was a good thing. We got it.
you got one load. 32,000. There's a, a good head start on the, the next warehouse run, as it were. Where the heck is Sturgis? You got to be kidding me. Are you serious? <laughs> 